so you want to give energetic presentations would you like to know exactly how to be perceived by other people as an energetic presenter so people respect you if you want that watch this video till the end because in today's video you're about to discover exactly three tips that you can use to become an energetic presenter hi this is Vishal Sarkar for the last 14 years I've been a real world public speaking mentor and a public speaking advisor for real world leaders we are talking about CEOs vice presidents high level managers I train them on how to become a powerful speaker and I've spoken for companies like Cisco IBM Google Apple and the reason I mentioned that too is because of a simple reason if you want to have the the respect of a great speaker you have to become an energetic speaker so the tip number one for that is this you have to check yourself night before an hour before and five minutes before as you can see on the screen the night before an hour before and five minutes before you have to see you have to know the ritual for example the night before if you want to have uh, you know an energetic presentation next day make sure you you know eat earlier make sure you have the right presentation structure make sure you have go through the right mental structure the mental thought process that we teach inside the program the night before the presentation so that you're going to bed calm, with a calm mind you're visualizing in the mind exactly how the presentation is going to go tomorrow it's going to be very helpful okay that's tip number one and also about the same thing you know an hour before you should you know do some physical you know not exercise or activity but make sure you're doing something to pump yourself up and also five minutes before that's tip number one tip number two is your actual energy level see it's very hard to become an energetic presenter if you are lethargic in your real life you know most people are like lethargic they come home like ah, don't talk to me today i'm having headache today i have this today there was so much of stress look if you have a, a lousy life you cannot be giving a leading presentation okay one more time if you have a lousy life you cannot give a leading presentation so you have to have leading energy in your general life and the third tip i have for you is do not empty your tank your energy tank you know in the first 15 minutes a lot of times when they have a, an hour presentation or 15 minutes presentation in the first 10 percent of the time they start speaking with full energy and after a while they feel oh my god my energy is gone no you have to manage your energy and that's something that we teach you inside the program um, you're going to see a preview very very soon but let me ask you a question what is it costing you not to be an energetic speaker what is it costing you not to be an energetic speaker? What do you think people think about you when they see that you're not an energetic speaker? And I guess my question to you is, what happens if you don't change it? And what happens if this, if you stay unenergetic for the next six months, one year, two years, five years, nothing ever changes, what's gonna be the consequence of that? And are you willing to settle for that kind of a negative result? If not, here is what we can do for you. Give us a call on the number that you see on the screen. Talk to one of our team members where we'll be speaking to you and assessing you and figuring Hello. out and testing you as well if you're the right fit for our program. And if you are, we'll invite you to one of our master classes so I can meet you personally, okay, live on Zoom. I can understand exactly what I can talk to you. I can hear you. That is that okay with you? I want to talk to you. I want to help you. I want to guide you. I want to transform you. This is the time for you. If you want to know more about exactly how to do that, give us a call on the number. Bishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection is this speakathon implementation bootcamp many of you sometimes probably you had some inhibition should i join should i not was this session worth it yes or no loudly yes, the second question i have for you is do you think you would have missed a lot if you did not join missed or did not miss which one Missed. 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 question, the practical level of feedback that we are giving to each individual, is that practical or is that theory, loudly? Practical. practical. Final question, the kind of environment we are creating right now, just the first session guys, and we have not even done yet, we are not done with the first session yet, but how many of you can already sense that this is the most practical public speaking course, just tell me yes, 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 three times. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, I believe that. I, no. I want to make sure every session I do, and I ask this all the time, first session, I want to make sure people that they get the entire value for the entire program in the first session. And now sit down.